Turkey, the cradle of civilization. For travelers with a taste for adventure, history, folklore, and natural beauty, Turkey is a country coming into its own. If it's history and archaeology you crave, Turkey has more ancient Greek, Roman, and other civilization sites than any country in the world by far. So many more sites that it's beyond comparison. If you desire beautiful blue Mediterranean coastlines, Turkey has more lovely coves, bays, and coastal villages than its Greek neighbor. And the food, Turkish cuisine and wine are some of the finest in the world. In addition, the climate is pleasant. The people are friendly and helpful, and the accommodations are outstanding. Bora Urskuk's Cultural Folk Tours International offers the traveler a unique focus on Turkey's culture, history, and folklore. You'll see Turkey's heritage of art, architecture, archaeology, and biblical and classical sites. You'll see natural beauty and wildlife. Our tour routes make frequent stops for photos. And best of all, you'll really meet the people. Our experienced English-speaking guides will introduce you to the folklore, tradition, and daily life of Turkey. And the museums of Turkey are some of the best in the world. We keep our tour groups small for the sake of congeniality and for flexibility in scheduling activities. The maximum number we allow in a group is 34, with only 18 to 20 people in the average party. You'll travel in a large, modern, air-conditioned bus and eat lunch in local restaurants. We take pride in our human touch. Our satisfied clients are educated and savvy travelers of all ages who want to get to know the culture and the country they visit. But ultimately, our greatest asset is the friendly, hospitable people of Turkey. Let's take a look at some of the highlights of our Western Turkey tours, beginning in Istanbul. Istanbul has a skyline that is overpowering, exotic and alluring, an indelible and unmistakable image known throughout the world. To truly appreciate the beautiful location of the city, we'll cruise in a private boat up the Bosporus. Other companies try to make you pay for private cruises and side trips like this, but with us, there are no extra optional trips and fees to pay. Back in Istanbul, we'll visit the Military Museum and see a concert performed by the world's first established military marching ensemble, all wearing colorful traditional uniforms. With its magnificent domes, six slender minarets, its spacious courtyard, the Blue Mosque, built in 1603, is one of the architectural marvels of the world. The Blue Mosque gets its name from the tiles that cover the dome and walls. Some tiles come from the famous Iznik workshops. We'll take you to St. Sophia's, built by Emperor Justinian. It was completed in 537 AD and was known as the greatest Christian church in the world for more than 1,000 years. And here is the Suleimania Mosque. We'll also take you to the fantastic Egyptian spice market. The name survives from the time when the market specialized in the sale of herbs and spices, as well as medicinal plants and drugs. And here is the Grand Bazaar, one of the most famous markets in the world. There are about 4,000 shops in this labyrinth of streets and halls. It's well known that the Grand Bazaar is a huge tourist trap, but it's worth a short visit anyway. You'll do much better to purchase carpets and other items later in your tour, closer to the source where they're actually made. Leaving Istanbul will take you on a beautiful drive up the Aegean coast to Chinakali, where we'll visit the legendary city of Troy. This city, immortalized by the Iliad, was assumed to be fiction until the site was crudely excavated by the German Heinrich Schliemann. Here is the replica of the Trojan horse. A few hours from Troy is the ancient city of Bursa. It's a city with many beautiful mosques and royal Ottoman homes and tombs. You'll have time in Bursa to shop at this beautiful silk bazaar in the 15th century caravanserai. 
The courtyards outside the Silk Bazaar are a meeting place for the cheerful and industrious people of Bursa. Heading south will take you to Pergamon to see the Asclepion, dedicated to Asclepios, the god of medicine. Our guides will explain this was not your average medical clinic, but the first complete health spa in history. We use the great port city of Izmir as our base from which to explore the fantastic archaeological sites of southwest Turkey. You'll stay in comfort at the Izmir Hilton where the indoor pool and the delicious food will revitalize your body and spirit. A great variety of fresh Turkish foods await your selection. Unmatched by any archaeological site, Ephesus appeals to every visitor, from the serious archaeology scholars to the casual visitor. Our guides point out that the surviving remains of Ephesus belong almost completely to the Roman imperial period. The great library of Celsus was built almost 1900 years ago in honor of Tiberius Julius Celsus, whose sarcophagus is in a tomb under the library. Ephesus contained theaters, markets, victory arches, baths, grand houses, and royal temples. Continuing down some beautiful Turkish highways, we come upon a place called Aphrodisias, one of the earliest occupied sites in Turkey. The temples, schools, and theaters were constructed in honor of the Roman goddess of love and fertility, Aphrodite. Aphrodisias was a major cultural center and was renowned for its school of marble sculpture. Aphrodisian works adorned every corner of the Roman Empire, including Rome itself. After lunch, we'll continue our drive to Pamukkale, one of the natural wonders of the world. Here are the snow-like Tavertines of Calcium. It's an ancient Greco-Roman site and city with waters believed to have healing properties. The hot mineral waters burst from the earth to run through a ruined Hellenistic city before cascading over cliffs. Overnight here in another five-star hotel where you can soak in a pool of warm mineral waters. Some of the pleasures of traveling through Turkey with Bora and cultural folk tours are the unexpected, unscheduled stops out in the middle of nowhere to see how the people of the region live their lives. Here a Turkish family harvests delicious apples and plums, graciously sharing some of the fruit with our tour members. Who wants an apple? 